So you're telling me in 1930, Commander Burr discovers new land in Antarctica. Managa, it don't say he discovered Antarctica. It says he discovered new land in Antarctica or beyond Antarctica or beyond the pole, beyond the barrier, man. Hey, welcome back to Flat Drop 101. I know you missed it, man. I know you missed me, man. <laughs> Shalom to the tribe, La Wa. This is all the creator's land. What do you mean you discovered new land? This is Hawa's land. <laughs> and it say it right here, man. In the Webster Dictionary. Encyclopedia. 1930. Ain't that the same time? Ain't this around the same time that uh, G.E. Kincaid discovered <laughs> discovered the Grand Canyon? What else is going on in the 20s and 30s? We got to get back into F. I'm a deal. G. And Nini, worlds beyond the poles. Stratosphere experiments are going on. Going on, man. They're blasting through the stratosphere. This is before Operation Fishbowl. Look up Operation Fishbowl. 1930, Commander Burr discovers new land in Antarctica, boss. Yeah. <laughs> Beyond the barrier, you mean? Discovering lands, huh? Discovering lands? How many ways out of here, right? I mean, we're here for a reason. <laughs> Um, they may feel like, oh, prison planet, we're trapped. Nah, I mean, this is all our land. I don't feel trapped on my own land. It's my land, wherever I'm at, you know. <laughs> but uh, you can say that, wow, it is a beautiful design. And if this is the exact design or not, I'm going to believe this beyond some ball, some spinning ball at a thousand miles per hour balls. I don't feel, I don't feel myself spinning balls. <laughs> The gravity, gravity is a theory, not a law. Get it together, man. So let's pontificate on the imagination, right? Let's use our imagination. Let's construct our reality separate from the hijack mythology of some spinning ball of water in a vacuum. Ain't no damn water not sucking into the vacuum because of some gravity and somehow we're not stuck to the floor because of this magical gravity that's holding trillions of tons of water to the <laughs> when i was flying off the ball but michael jordan still dunking from the free throw line but i'll be in smashed to the floor from this quadrillion magical tons <laughs> mega tons of gravity Birds are flying, chirping. They ain't tripping on your gravity. Balloons are just all because of the helium. It's lighter than the air. But what about gravity, boss? <laughs> helium ain't affected by gravity. <laughs> it's gravity. It's magical force. It's crushing this water. All right. So we never seen water do anything but flatten out on any surface. Anything you pour water into is going to find its flattest point. Flat, flat, flat. When do you think it's going to change its property and be a ball of water spinning in outer space in a vacuum? Would you stop it, man? So look, man. <laughs> get, get in the back of the classroom if you got an issue with us using our imagination here. Shout out to Nas Confundin. Uh, man, a lot of these, a lot of these uh, reconners, man, you know, that's paved the way. Um, and, you know, we've been surfing the way for almost a decade on this flat drop. And it's like, I explain it differently these days because it's just so obvious now. Before, I felt like I had to really convince a nugget, but now it's like, come on, bro. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> here, look, man, I got a, I got a glass, I got a glass of water in my hand. He said, no, you don't. I got a glass, bro, look at the hand. I got the glass of water in my hands right here in your face, man. That's how I feel about this flat drop. You don't see this glass of water? You see this water going into a ball? <laughs> ever I, I've never seen that experimentation I'm sorry I thought we'd be scientific repeatable and observable evidence if you don't have no evidence of water covering a ball in a vacuum with some magical force like gravity keeping the water from flying off and you're spinning at thousand miles per hour boss popping off man it's been well overdue flat drop one <laughs> 
It's openings, boss. So which way out of here, boss? You know what, man? Are you telling us? <laughs> you pop through this wall. You know, you go around. You go around, right? Now pay attention to how they're getting out. First, I thought, you know, maybe somebody's just scribbling some stuff. Maybe somebody's scribbling some stuff. But then I take a closer look. Then I take a closer look. This is why we're doing this, man. It's Flat Drop 101. Take a closer look. And tell me in the comments why you think they drew the way out like this. I mean, out of Antarctica is the first barrier, but then there's more Antarctica, right? There's more barriers. South is everything away from the magnetic north, which is at the center, you know, so-called, because that's debatable, too. Some would say that there's a center pole and then there's a north and south pole that's kind of like right outside of uh, South America, you know what I mean, type of thing. Uh, but let's just say north is magnetic north, right? It's in the center. Your compass is always pointing towards the center, you know, of this inner circle. That's the magnetic north. Call it because of the um, black sun, right? <laughs> black hole sun, won't you come? Remember that song, man? It's a lot of talk, man. We're talking solar eclipse. We're talking to Kum says Comet. We're talking Year of the Dragon. We see it clearly because the dragon in etymology means to see clearly. I mean, we're talking it all. Look how many suns you see. Look how many moons you see. Why did they draw the way out like this? Y'all tell me in the comments why they draw it. Why not? I mean, why not? Pop out the barrier. You know, and again, north is the center. South is everything outside of that. East and west is clockwise, counterclockwise. Just use it. Look from a bird's eye view. East and west is spinning left and right <laughs> that's why they're time travel they say you know you got to spin a certain um you know speed right you got to match the velocity match the speed of you spinning in a certain direction and you got to do it continuously for a certain amount of miles i forgot if it was 12 miles whatever but go back to 2016 <laughs> king drop i told y'all figured out how to time travel. I just didn't really want to go crazy broadcasting because I'm like, yo, that makes perfect sense. If you go east in a certain, uh, at a certain velocity continuously, right, you can go forward or backwards in the future, but east is not going sh just straight, you know, like back to the future. <laughs> east will be going, you know, clockwise or counterclockwise. I forgot which one it is, east or west. I think east might be clockwise. West might be counterclockwise. It could be opposite. Don't quote me. But that's why you see these arrows. They notice they're going in separate directions. Because that's the currents of the water. Notice how the arrows keep changing direction. That's the direction of the water, my nigga. In the AE, aquadescent, aquadescent, uh, as a muzzle, aquadescent, you know what I'm saying? AE map, projection, not the Mercator, but the AE, so-called flat earth map. That's how the organized the water is. It's clockwise, counterclockwise, clockwise, counterclockwise. And that's how you can navigate. You know, okay, I, it's going in a circle, <laughs> literally in one direction or the other. You just got to know which current you're navigating. Back to the Gulf Coast, right? You said you can, you know, hitch a ride from Mexico, you know what I'm saying, and just shoot that current and just land up in Ireland and Scotland. Because the current, look at the direction, it's going to the right. So you can ride that wave. As long as you are in, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Even, um, you know, as it gets closer to the North Pole, it keeps, it changes. So there's more, there's more direction changes than they're showing on this map as you get towards Antarctica. There's, you know, it goes clockwise, kind of, you just gotta, you gotta know which direction <laughs> the current is flowing and that's how you can navigate. I, I, Clearly, they are showing you the, the major changes in the directions of the currents. And that's crazy, but it's very simple. But you just got to have the right orientation. 
We're giving orientation pies and orientation enchiladas, man. <laughs> Back to this, man. They say on the inside of Antarctica is the realm of humans and outside is the realm of titans. Don't that sound like Game of Thrones? Don't that sound like Game of Thrones to you? They're calling the moon set and this dark moon Anubis. Now, I've heard it called uh, something like, oh man, it started with a rod, like a uh, Ra Raul, <laughs> Ra, uh, man, Raha. Man. I heard another name for it in like the Indian Vedic type of cosmologies, man. But then there's another moon, right? <laughs> and love to tie about. <laughs> she ain't really messing with this moon. Maybe that's why. Man. Maybe has this moon always been here? We always ask that. We got to bring that back. All right? Are these moons just going in and out the gates? You know, did they just drag? There's a story that they just drug this, drag this moon in here. You know what I'm saying? And is this dark moon? Does it follow it? Is it all connected? They say set and Anubis, like it's all connected. Now we're just talking Atlantis, and are we saying that the Atlanteans brought in their own projector, right? Their own luminary. I mean, the wolves do be howling at the moon. <laughs> Son of Sephala, body bag. But there's multiple moons, and now they call this one Yaya. And I'm saying, my name, for the, <laughs> I would say the last time, but I, I'm saying, man. If they're calling their moon Yah, and you're calling the creator Yah, you got to second guess something. You got to. You think they'll be able to play with the creator's name like this? When do you see them play with the creator's name and put how wild some hijack, man. They put Haya and Haya and all these other variations, but not H-A-W-A on no hijack. We're talking Hawaii. We're talking Joshua. They don't play with Joshua. They don't play with the Wahs like that. They play with the Yahs like that. You got to ask why. And then you got to say, why is Yah backwards just the Hey or the Ha, right? <laughs> and why do you got to reverse the spell to break the curse? To break the spell, you got to reverse the curse. If they're saying, yeah, you got to reverse it to ha or hey, right? And then you'll get the original. Wow. And who's these titans? Are we talking dragon? I'm just looking at this with a dragonfly perspective. I know you've seen it before. Man, my wave surfers know. We're just seeing it with, with new eyes, man. Don't ever think you saw it all clear the first time. We got to see it again. Multiple sun, multiple moons. Multiple suns, multiple moons. How many moons? One, two, three. One, two, three. At least three here. One, two, three, four suns. One, two, three, four. They got mo, so, bo, go. <laughs> they got ho, ho over here. Ho. Oh, they got another moon, I think, over here, but it's covered up. Four moons. Man, all right. Four moons, four suns. At least one, two, three ice rings. You know, we're pontificating, but this feels a lot more at home <laughs> because. It jives with the flat drop 101. And we know we firm, fixed, and immovable. We got to go back in the scriptures. How many times the watch says your earth is firm, fixed, and immovable, my nigga? That means you're not spinning on no damn ball. Get with it, man. Wakey, wakey, my nigga. <laughs> so what does this earth look like? I'll wait. I mean, I see uh, David Rumsey map up here showing you Antarctica with no cap. Different map projections from different researchers, man, saying the same damn thing. There's more worlds beyond the pole. And Antarctica 
It's the Antarctic Circle for a reason, my night. How many domes, you know, back to that great drop, that Dizzle Fitty drop. Uh, next time, I don't have it up now, but next time we'll get it again, man. We got <laughs> They say it's 178 domes or something like that. Man, I, I got to try to find that. Matter of fact, I'm going to try to find that video <laughs> and just surf the wave in it. I don't got to reread this stuff. I already read it, man. 2017, 18, 19. We already read this stuff. So I'm going to find a video. And we're going to sit here and watch it together. <laughs> I got time to be reading. I got six babies to, to tuck in that night. <laughs> Shout out to the droppers. I thought they said Tupac. Is that Tupac? I mean, oh, we found Pac. Pac knew what was up. All oh, that drop Pac had. You know Tupac over here somewhere, man. Shout out to Pac. I know y'all, you know, surfing away, man. Get this book, Beyond the Barrier. It doesn't say Beyond the small Antarctic, it says beyond the barrier con. Admiral Burr went beyond the barrier con. The story of Burr's first expedition to Antarctica con. The secret land. <laughs> Technically, man. You think they plan? Starring men and ships, U.S. Navy? We're going to talk about some U.S. Navy experiments. Back to F. Amadeo Giannini, Worlds Beyond Poles, Secret Land, Beyond the Barrier. That's called Little America. Right? Didn't Richard Byrd say, I saw we discovered a land the size of America <laughs> in our expedition beyond the barrier? And he called it, well, you know, first he called it. A, the original base, Little America in Antarctica, but that's really cold word for the America that they found beyond the wall. And these are the, these are your sources. Dig on it, man. Primary sources. <laughs> Dig on it, man. Yeah, man. Admiral Burr was out there freezing his ass off until he found more tropical land, my nigga, because that's how it goes, right? That's how it goes, right? I mean, first... You trekking across the ice, right? First you crossing the ice, but then suddenly it starts getting warmer, just like Admiral Byrd said. We found a tropical area. Just just research Admiral Byrd for about a week. Just look at videos. They got footage, footage of his expedition. Of course, they don't show you all the drop, but enough for you to see that there are tropical areas. Everything's not frozen, and that's what he means. Once you cross the ice, whatever direction you cross, it gets wavy again. You get into another water pocket, man. And then you roll upon another continent with its own sun, right? So we saw a drop last time that was talking about how the sun uh, is losing its power, or the black sun is losing its power, and the sun is going to, fall to the earth or you know spiral in closer to the earth type of thing there's more suns that might spiral in right <coughs> we don't know we don't know we just pontificate oh and by the way i know you left your comment by now of why you think they took this route out right and this is my thing man this is how i am popping off in my head bald about it Yeah, this is how I feel about it, man. I'm feeling like they went the long way. You know what I'm saying? These Nagas went the long way, man. You could have went and went with the water current, right? You could have exited and went to the left and surfed the wave. Nice and easy with the water current, but guess who we, <laughs> guess who you running into now? Say it with me, man. Hijack City, man. Oh, hijack thought of oh oh thoughty boy, thought the moving island. And we got some maps that this is literally translated as the monitoring island, of the observing island. What are they observing? Uh, probably you, Americans. <laughs> 
making sure you don't reach this gate. So this gate here was not even an option to this particular person. I don't know who they are. I don't know who they are. I'm just saying, why did they choose this route? They could have went out the easy way. How can they just pop out? If this was a nobody doing this, they didn't know shit. They just would have exited to the left, surfed that wave, right up out of here or right up out of here. They just would have been out of here. Curve right, you know, took took this exit down here. <clears throat> this would have curved out of here. What were they avoiding, right? <laughs> what, what were you avoiding by taking a right? Because now you're going against the water. That's a much harder trek, right? I would think. But you're avoiding old Tahuti, <laughs> hijack Atlantis, who wants to keep the hijack frequency and the slave vibration on the people, avoiding the hounds or the dragons or the barrier, right? Yeah, yeah, we we, we read the Emerald Tapas. We know what you're up to, hijack said. <laughs> we see clearly. You took a right, Jack. You took a right. You, you went against the water. You took the long, hard trek. <laughs> I guess they might be cool. I guess they might be cool. I mean, how come you didn't just pop out and go straight out of this game? How can you just take this game? That must have been a no-no. Because thoughts might be having these alliances over here. You might have to say, nah, hit it hard right. As soon as you get out, <laughs> as soon as you pop out and notice, you got to pop out. Notice, man. This is why, man, look telling y'all this is the frequency war this is why they mad son this is why they over here hijacking this is north america this is anion right in other words this is india superior boss this is anion in other words This is Asia, boss. Orientis finds map 1531. This is Asia, boss. America, South America, Mexico would pretty much be Cathay. Paris, Parias is Paris. We are the original Pateri. We are the original Cathay. We're the original Asia. Florida, Asia, right? <laughs> You're in Asia right now, boss. Asia major. Uh, or they might just call it uh, India, you know. India superior. See the same thing, Cathay, India Superior, Florida. Okay. Cathay, Florida, <laughs> Asia, boss. Or India superior. So they found you superior Nagas in India superior, the, the home of Preston Chai, right? <laughs> Look out for Preston 134. Look out for the 133 recap on Patreon. I got y'all my Nagas, you know what I mean? Things get busy, but I'm, I'm always catching up, man. So continue to support the Naga on Patreon. I appreciate it. Real talk. And um, hey, they found. <laughs> They found Indians, right? Okay, okay. <clears throat> right. They found Indians in India Superior, right? Asia, right? Ania. And that seems to be the way out. <laughs> You know, it could be because it didn't go left when they could have popped out and went all the way around. They could have popped out and just went out of any of these gates 
up top and just surf that way. But these Nagas over here might not be as cool at this moment, or not the Nagas, but the hijack. Because they got Moo over here, man. They got Lemuria, right? They might not be as cool over here. He, he said, no, 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 don't pop out too early. <laughs> just hit the hard ride, right? deal with these Nagas here. They cool and pop out down here. And that might be why. And he, uh, <laughs> that might be why the Presters over there. Uh, I'm like, are they making a mistake? Do they still think Prester John's in Africa? Do they not understand that they never found no kingdom of Prester John in Africa? They found an Ethiopia con, but that wasn't the Prester. Then they came to America. Then they came to India Superior. Then they stopped looking for Prester John in what, 16. 50 something, right? 1645, according to the Portuguese monument in South Africa. The year they, they were searching for President John, man, y'all, I think this, y'all think this play, but y'all, y'all gonna make me pop off, <laughs> y'all gonna make me pop off Preston 134 right now, right here, man. <laughs> you, we got receipts for everything we're talking about, man. We've been doing this for Danny 10 years, man. Coming up on 10 years, man. <laughs> we would have got double doctorate PhDs right now, Drop Nation, the way we've been reconning. We pass all the tests. Look the hijack in the eye. Look the hijack in the face bone. Presented the Preston from. We did it from the perspective of a Naga for the first time. They got to see clear because they didn't have the perspective of a Naga. They didn't have a dragonfly perspective. We had to ask, what man do you search for from 1145 to 1645, boss? What man do you search for for 500 years? Then we got to we got the drop on the fountain view. <laughs> and then we're talking about a Magi, a mystical Naga. Found in Ania. So they made up something called North America. So you don't know you're in Asia, boss. So you don't know you're in Asia major. So you don't know you're in India superior. Huh? Tangu. <laughs> Cathay. Florida. India. They don't want you to know you're in China. They don't want you to know you're in Kapango. Orientation pies, orientation enchiladas, boss. They don't want you to know you're in the land of the cons, man. Why would they want you to know that? They don't want you to know you're in Kapango, which some call Japan. How are you going to be in China and Asia and Japan? But here's Ptolemy's India. How you gonna be in India and Florida, boss? My boss, this is connected to Greenland, right? Come. This is connected to Greenland, come. Greenlandia goes right into Scotland, Ireland. The UK, you could walk to the UK from Florida. I'm talking 1548, boss. <sighs> I'm talking 1530. You can walk to Greenland. Look at Greenland over there. Now it's a little disconnected. Interesting. I'm talking 1530. How's it disconnected in 1530 and connected in 1548? Who got the drop? Talking Kapangu. They call America, right? Florida. They call America the land unknown. The land, this is the great con of China. <laughs> right in your face. Too many 
mappers, man. <laughs> Too many cartographers are letting you know in 1530. 1500s, they told you the truth that this is Asia. Connected to South America, which they're just calling America. But all this is connected. This is the three Indias. This is India Superior. This is Cathay, C-A-T-H-A-Y, which they will call C-A-T-A-Y. Or C-A-T-H-A-Y. Yeah. Or C A T A Y O K T A O, and the R means regnum or kingdom. These are kingdoms, Tangu kingdom, 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 <laughs> in the land of the priest king. And this is who they're searching for for five hundred years. And then suddenly they find you in America, and they stop searching over there, and they continue their search by hijacking the Americans in India Superior. Now they found the superior India. Now they found Ania. And this might be why the press is on the wall right there. We're talking Ania, right? North South America. No cap on Antarctica's chest ball. No ice. And you see the gateways. David Rumsey, man, we still in the 1500s, boss. 1578. I'm talking Antioch because they talking Antioch. Go get the drop, Preston 133. We all talking Antioch. PR means Provincia. Provincia. We talking kingdoms. Covera is Eber. Heber. Kivera. They put a K on it or a Q. One letter rule or two letters. Straight of Anion, the same way you just saw it. Straight of Anion. El Straito de Anion. Which could we just be talking about Anon? And he's a son of David, which the whole kingdom will be named after David's bond. If we're just talking Anon. Don't make me go into 134. It's too easy. We got that water. Because Anon founded the Ananites. Anaga, we're talking about the leaders of these Hebrews during Babylonian exile. So we're talking Hebrew talk when we talk Anon. We're talking Hebrew talk when we talk Anion. Ben David, King David, Prester John. We're talking Hebrew talk. Yeah. Drop talk Hebrew talk very well. One letter rule. They put the I in it. Now it's Ania. Sometimes it's spelled A N I O N. And that's how you got to research it to get the drop in the books. If you're looking in Google, just put parentheses A N I O N. And actually, we put parentheses. Um, what well, they turn it into Arnon. A R N A N or A R N O N. Becomes the Arnon flow in this in the Bible in the scriptures, but the Arnon is originally the Anion, and they changed it. And all literary text down there on Google, just go look it up, search Anion, and see how they're going to keep bringing you to Arnon. So they're switching it up, my nigga, to the Arnon when it's originally Anion, which is originally Anna, 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 son of David. Why is David important? Because <laughs> the scepter will always be with David. Hosea 3. Search for Hawa and King Day, King Dawi, King David, right? So, yeah. The Anon became the Anion. Blow down, drop. You dropping too fast. Why is Preston John outside the wall? See, the Preston drop. It's so magnificent. It's the greatest investigation because it combines the flat drive 101. Because <laughs> why else 
with the press to be outside of a flat earth map. <laughs> this ain't no ball. You know, they got different projections of this map as a globe, if you're looking for it, but they be like this for a reason, the AE projection. And look, look at the position that they put the pressure in. He's out of the wall outside of Africa, but we don't know how far, right? So you got the Africa flow, and outside this wall, you got the pressure flow. The Rechnikus of Ethiopia. Now, of course, they're going to associate Ethiopia with Africa. That's the obvious choice. <laughs> we realize Ethiopia is a Greek word meaning burnt face or fiery looking. And you burnt face people are all over the earth plain. So all of you would be Ethiopians, according to their definition, which was originally Abyssinians. I'll be seeing you. And outside the wall, they got the press, right? Now, why put them outside the wall on the African side? <laughs> nah, you know, is it is it nothing? Is it something? Could be something. Could be nothing. But it's interesting when I just look at this uh, uh, placement, you know, that we saw on the IG flow. And on the way out, when they finally popped out, they popped out you know, on this side, even though they had to go out from the American side, right? But they popped out on this side to get, this is like the Underground Railroad, man. <laughs> it's like Harriet Tubman is drawing a map out of here, the Underground Railroad. They had to pop out of the African side. And outside of that side, seems, seems to be the press that with the, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You got the sheep, right? You got the sheep. <laughs> and it's all popping off, you know what I mean? Nah, it's just really interesting, man. Let's get this back. So they got pressed outside the wall. But just check out where he's at, right? And again, when they crossed the third barrier, bang, they right outside, you know, and they had to press the outside the wall, but we don't know how. Now, now remember, there's some more drop, man, go get, man, we got a lot of flat drop. Just go in the categories, surf the wave in the flat drop, because there's a whole island of Preston John on another map. They got a whole island called Preston John, the land of Preston John. So I said, how'd they put Preston John on the map? There's a whole land of Preston John. And is that connected with Fort Texas? Are we able to connect through the water or through the Fort Texas to these distant lands? Which they would call planets. <laughs> but we're talking plain. Because the etymology of planet is plain, which means flat, spread out, flat. It's a plane. So how can the etymology of planet be flat? Now you turn it into a spinning ball. No, y'all. <laughs> Hijack City is active, man. Yeah, I just thought that was interesting, man. The way out seems to go through the Preston, man. You know what I mean? Directly. When you get to the Preston, you got to hit that hard right. You got to take the hard road. <laughs> you got to go against the current. And that makes sense. Now, you could also go with the current, but you're going to run right through thought. <laughs> Interested, right? All right, man. Flat drop one on one. Beyond the barrier, man. Secret land. How many more Americas did Richard Bird find in his Arctic and Arctic? which just means southerly and everything outside of the, you know, magnetic north would be south and clockwise, counterclockwise would be east and west. How many more lands beyond the pole? 
And do you think it's play play? We're talking to U.S. Navy. <laughs> and we're going to uh, do, you know, some good searching on the U.S. Navy with this World's Beyond a Pole, digging on actual expeditions with the U.S. Navy. So it's perfect timing, man. It's perfect timing, Bo. Shout out to Big Chief. Said real drop, man. I mean, real spill. For real, for real. AI. Open your eyes, Israel. Said keep hitting them drop. They always knew. They always knew drop. Where do you think these beans came up with things like mazes? There is nothing new under the sun. Con up. Open your eyes. Shout out to the con veteran eye. Go uh, hit up Fly Dragon Dynasty. He said, check that new Godzilla Kong Jong. <laughs> King Kong is King Kong, man. King Kong. Shout out to Veteran. Uh, Team DNA Boxing, what he do? He said, keep dropping them gems. Hey, man, a lot of wild, man. We got that. We got that water. We got that water. Let's keep going, man. Uh, you know, a lot of drop, man. You know what I mean? I mean, you know, I'm just saying we're surfing the way. You know, let me just say we're surfing away. Nineteen thirty, Commander Bird discovered new land in or beyond Antarctica. Come on, let's go. Let's cut to the Discord right quick, man. Hey, out to the cause, having great conversation on the Discord. I'm gonna see what y'all talking about uh, in the categories. A flat drop, one on one. Got a lot of cars checking in on the daily. Uh, you know, it's a brand new thing for us. I'm just learning about it. Shout out to my IT Naga, Markel, what it do. Appreciate you, Con, and your whole team. The website is uh, coming supreme. We got, you know, um, a beginning, kind of a shell of what we want to do up just for, you know, um, you know, a little recon purposes, man, but we got a lot to build on it. It takes a lot, and the bro's very patient with me, man, and, um, you know what I'm saying, just what him and his team is putting together for the cons, man, it's going to be special, something that they can't keep messing with, can't keep hijacking and taking down over and over again, and, you know, all that stuff. So, you know, it's been quite a while. I know my Nuggets miss their vibe sweets. I know you miss your drop library. You know what I mean? I know you missed just your daily drop dropping and uh, you know, all, all the music, all the cons. Just look out for us, man. You know, this is a steady climb, man. And, you know, this time, I just didn't want to have to rebuild it ever again. I'll take my time and do it right rather than, you know what I mean, uh, putting something up quick. You know what I mean? That's going to be hijacked. So I had to change servers. My Nagas got their own private servers. So I'm dealing with our cons. I'm not dealing with no other. Uh, hosting, public hosting, none of that stuff. I even had a private domain domain over there. I had Bluehost, man. They were just hijacking me all the time. So my nigga got his own server, man, and I appreciate my card. And this is how we doing it now. You know what I'm saying? And he told me to get the Discord flowing, you know, so we can have that popping on the website and have all that in place. All of it in one place. So you come over here, you're going to have uh, your channels to flow with. You know, these are just our beginner, um, beginning channels, you know what I mean? Who got the drop is our main flow. You got any drop, drop it. Who got the drop? Indigenous truth, that's what we do. <laughs> Flat drop 101, that's what we on. Most of everything, hey, that's the code we keep. You got anything to drop on the code, hit us up. Uh, 432, energy frequency. You got all that drop, drop it. Tribe of music, you got the drop. I see my nuggets. My producers are in there dropping that drop, which is what we need, our producers, so we can really come up and have our own albums and original material. You know what I mean? It's cool to use, you know, some of the flows on YouTube, but I like what my noggers do it just for us. You know what I'm saying? So if you're a producer getting that tribe up music, drop your drop. Five Eyes Mile up in there, he, he going he gonna to see what's up, man. <laughs> MHOE Fashion. Shout out to Five Eyes Mile, man. If you got some great graphic arts or designer ideas or logos or different things for MHOE, get up in there, man. If you're a graphic designer, all that, uh, we need you. 
We need designers, you know what I'm saying? We need your creativity. Soul Ball Podcast, man, we got a great new episode with Zion Marley about to drop very soon for the Soul Bone Podcast. And any, you know, comments or recon specific to the Soul Bone Podcast, get in the Discord, get in the category. Who is Preston John? You already know. Get up in here, man. Drag and drop. You got some of that drop? And pretty soon we're going to do the voice drops, man. I'm going to, you know, drop drops specifically only on Discord, man. So get cozy just with the chat. Drop your drop. I'm coming, my noggas. We coming. All my noggas in here. I appreciate all y'all. You know what I'm saying? Every day y'all been here. And y'all been supporting Naga from day one, man. Y'all been supporting all the cons, man. So, hey, we in here, man. I'm loving it. Let's hit up flat drop, though. Hey, hey. We got in the flat drop today, man. <laughs> yeah, man. This is how it should feel. Especially when you come to 432 com. You know, you go, this is a, a representation of how our website normally is. So you're going to be able to, you know, just enjoy that. And um, it, it's our normal flow. We have categories, different things going on. If you know. Aqua Tai got some. Okay, okay, Aqua Tai. Yeah. The Earth Rotation. Oh, shout out first of all, man. <laughs> Happy Con Day to Ty Badzon and Brother Nature. I think they both turned 50, man. And, of course, we don't need to count these years, man. Time is an illusion. <laughs> but, AI, man, they're such great anchors for the tribe and um, motivators and inspiration. And they got their RV popping there. I don't even know what state they're in. In different times, they, they just going from state to state, you know, seeing beautiful things, living you know, um, truly what our life should be, not so static and connected to one thing, you know, one place, but just flowing, man. And, hey, out to the cons, they're going to really give us some drop on that RV life, man. We're going to probably do a new category for Monogas Off Grid. Matter of fact, we're going to add a channel called Off the Grid Con. And you, you share that drop about how to live off the grid, how to plant, you know what I'm saying, your food, your veggies, you know what I'm saying, how you living, man? How to build? Because we building for Nagaville. Shout out to Joy World. Man. Off the grid. Cons. How about that? Just like that, we got a new channel. So, you see it is. Be the first, man. You be the first. You come up in here and tell us uh, how you really, man. Off the grid. Share your pictures. Share your stories. Um, inspire a con, man, to, you know, let go. Sometimes we got to let go and just be with Hawaii, man. You know, buy your land, you know, instead of, you know, buying uh, that car, just put it on a half acre of land and start flowing, start building. You know, we don't ever say, hey, everyone come uh, to Utah and do this and do that. We say, man, buy your land in Mississippi, buy your land in Albuquerque, wherever you buy your land, Arizona, and tribe up with those you trust the most, for real, for real. And don't just trust people on the internet. Trust me, man. Just, you know, your people is your, your people. And if you do have good internet relationships, that's what's up. But build with your people. And we we put that Nagaville flag up, Monaga. We Nagaville. We connect our lands like a circuit board. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, that's how you build. We're just trying to inspire you, inspiring us. We inspire you. Off the grid cons, man. Come up in here, man. All right. <laughs> Flat drop 101. Let's get it. Ty Bazan, what you got? The Earth's rotation is starting to interfere with time. <laughs> is that right? Let's check it out, man. What we got? <laughs> well, let's get sciencey, man. Science drop 101. <laughs> What they saying in science, Ty Battle? Ty Battle always got a link for us, man. I don't care if we're on Discord, Patreon, Drop Drop, Chatter, Chat, 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 Chatter, you know, the OG, you know what I'm saying? Copper Thread, Soul Bone, hit up the Soul Bone podcast on IG. Ty Battle is dropping exquisite drop on a daily Soul Bone, S O L B O N E podcast on IG. It's the hottest thing spoken, man. Hit up Soap on Podcast, man. <laughs> and again, happy con day to the battles, man. We battle up. We in battle time. They out to CJ Battle, Sam, 
uh, the Khan Onyx, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Oceana, the Queen. You know, it's all happening, man. It's, it feels so good. Don't you agree? Shout out to Kai, Big Kai Battle. I see you, man. What it do? The Earth rotation is starting to interfere with time, and experts are concerned. Indy100.com. So she, she drops links from plays I never heard. I never heard of Indy100. Talk about. Let's just get it. You know what they saying? Uh, the way the Earth is rotating is changing because of climate change, and the experts are concerned. Scientists have long con been concerned about the effects of global warming, with research suggesting that up to half of the entire world would change climate by the end of the century. New research published in the journal Nature has revealed that melting ice at the poles of our planet may change the Earth's spin. Oh. So are we spinning? Or is it going to change the flow of the water? Instead of it going, you know, from left to right or right to left. <laughs> are you talking about like a magnetic shift rather than a earth spinning imagery? You have a change in a magnetic poles. You can do that on a flat plane, you know. You can have a change in the magnetic poles or the what they call torrential field or different things. Um, they say it happened before. They even said some disaster happened that made the Mississippi River run backwards. Because remember, along with the Tacoma State Comet came an earthquake. Hopefully, you know, we don't have to go through that again, some big thing like that. But I'm just saying, something happened to make big changes. This dragon appearing, um, you know, was giving kind of a heads up that big changes are coming. Now, at that point, it was destruction. At that point, it was disaster. The tribes couldn't tribe up to Kunse, couldn't make his pan-native alliance. Other Nagas made deals and treaties. We got that right. So that was a disaster for the Hebrews. But this comment here is redemption. Because you chose to keep the code. Because you chose to be most high over everything. Because you chose up. So is the earth spinning or is, or are these arrows changing directions? Are these arrows changing directions, boss? I mean, it's a lot happening, right? This great American solar eclipse. It's a lot happening. Hey, did y'all know <laughs> about this underground ice tunnel in Antarctica built by Admiral Byrne. Y'all know about this ice tunnel village? While America swelters in the grip of summer heat waves, little America at the other end of the globe is braving the icy rigors of an Antarctic winter night, which is four months long, as shown in a graphic illustration above. Only by means of narrow ice tunnels beneath the snow can communication be kept open in Admiral Byrd's South Pole Village. Nearly half of Malady's tunnels connect buildings buried to the roof tops. 56 men live and work in this ice-bound community, snug and warm in their polar dugouts. The community has a power and light plant, radio equipment, movies. They got movies, repair shops, a library, underground. Complete medical science.
scientific apparatus. Now you might think this is some little cheap stuff, and now you realize all this underground stuff and how how much money they had to do this. This is why they came, son. They built an underground bunker as soon as he got there. They said, oh, it's just so icy. No, you came to build an underground bunker, just like H-I-T-L-E-R, right? They say NASA is just a continuation of this whole German flow, right? The NAZI flow, right? And here comes Admiral Burr. Instead of astronauts and NASA, we have explorers at this time. Now we don't have any more explorers. We've explored everything, they say. No need to have exploration. <laughs> at least Admiral Byrd was down to explore, right? And he actually wanted more people to explore. But, of course, these are hijacks. That's like saying Columbus was down to explore. <laughs> explore who? Explore what? Explore more Nagas beyond the pole? More Nagas and more worlds, and they find us and they call us the new world. Ka, we're the new world that you just discovered. Foul. But they had shops and libraries and movies and medical scientific apparatuses, a four cow dairy dog town. Oh, they have a dog town <laughs> comprising 122 husky, seven pups. All right, so interesting, man. All right. Oh, there goes a the dog town right here. That's the dog town is big. <laughs> dog town is huge. <laughs> Did y'all know that the solar eclipse is not just making an X monaga, but an LF? <laughs> now, this is mind blast. You know what an NLF looks like in the Hebrew, right? Pull up the Hebrew or the paleo picto. All right, all right. You want me to do it for you, man? I'll do it. Just remember. They're searching for Preston John for 500 years. I'll do it. Because I know some Nagas is, they ain't going to do it, man. They ain't going to pull up the Hebrew chart. And I need you to see this. I want you to just, you know, hope I'm saying something right. So the Aleph, which stands for the strong power, right? The strong power that goes into your house. When you start to gather, you start to walk towards an entrance a door, a doll, a portal, a vortex with your tribe, your family. And you get that revelation, that look, you get that breath, man. Your mama gives you that breath, which is your, <gasps> and your father gives you that security, which is your, wow, right? Added security. Now you hooked in, you got foundation, so you cannot be moved by the hijack. Now you can eat. Because you got your breath and security. You got your secure breath. Now you can eat, my naga. Now you can be nourished and cut off from the hijack. But it started with the strong power, which is the L, right? The all, the L, which is the strong power, which was, you know, designated as the ox head, which we know is just representing the strength, you know, to be able to lead a flock. To be able to, you know, lead the charge. It's a leader. You know, leaders that have the L, like El Hawakum. <laughs> In the scripture, I think there's two Eliakims, El Hawakums. Uh, you know, but they call Hawa El Hawa, right? So, you're just talking about strong power. So, it went from Picto to Paleo. And it's the same representation of this ox head, strong power leader. You 
And you see the same I left here. Now, we were just, you know, thinking of 2017 and 2024 eclipse, right? We're thinking about, oh, man, this is crazy. A great solar eclipse is crisscrossing in North America only seven years apart, 2017 and now again in 2024. These things normally come around every few hundred years, but seven years apart, seven years difference. Well, that's miraculous. And it's crisscrossing, right? Right through that Cairo, right through that Illinois flow, right through that Texas flow. So we were looking at We're just looking at those two years, you know what I'm saying? Those seven years differences, you know, crisscross, right? And we connected that with the Hebrew Tau, which is which is cool, which is cool. <laughs> you know, when you talk about being the Alpha and the Omega, right? The beginning and the end, that's the creator. Right. <laughs> now I never seen this Aleph pop up when we ever searched for this, but now we see the Aleph. Ain't that something? Come on, drug. Come on, drive nation. How many times have we looked this up? We've never seen them just put the left out there like that. We've never seen them draw the left like that. They never put the left on here because the left factors in the the uh, total solar eclipse. I think it was twenty twenty three, or nah. We're gonna look at the date, but it factors in a recent solar eclipse. So there was just one more eclipse to factor in that we weren't factoring in. We were just looking at the crisscross applesauce, right? Which is cool. It's cool. Seven years apart. Cool. That's cool. Because that X, we know, represents our Hebrew tile, which is the two cross sticks. Ezekiel 37, do I need to get it? <laughs> two tribes coming together, two cross sticks. Two tribes coming together, my life. The whole purpose of the Bible. Uh, whatever you want to call tonight, this, that, is for the tribes to come back together. That's why we're searching for Preston John. <laughs> because by the time you came back together, that means you've chosen Hawa. That means you know that Hawa is your power, is with you, house of Israel. You are my people. That means <laughs> my sheep, we're not talking about sheep going to the slaughter. We're talking about sheep in terms of an example of following a shepherd, of being a righteous flock. I am your power. Verse 24, I, Hawa, will be their power and my servant David, prince among them. I have spoken it. I will make a covenant of Shalawa and get the evil beasts out of their land. And they shall dwell safely in the wilderness, sleep in the woods. Hey, this is the year of the wood dragon. <laughs> and I will make them and the places around about my hill a blessing. Baruch, you're going to be Baruch. Don't you even trip. You're going to be showered with Baruch. I will cause the shower to come down in this season. And there shall be showers of Baruch. Showers of Baruch. Blessed. And the tree of the field shall yield its fruit. And the earth shall yield her produce. They shall be safe in their land. 
Because when you KTC, that's what you get. But not just the land you thinking of. We're talking about all the land, man. We're talking about all the land. Wow, wow, we're talking about all the land, right? X marks the spot. Wow. Two cross sticks have to come together, my life. These prophets are not only prophesying about David, you know, being a factor in the end of days, but the prophesying of you <laughs> in the valley of dry bones, hearing the word, keeping the cold. And now breath enters you, breath enters you, breath enters you. Ah, wah, enters you. All right, we're talking the sound is A-H. <gasps> Inhale, feminine, exhale, masculine. Wah. Inhale, feminine. This is wisdom, Proverbs chapter 8. Mama says she's standing by the gates at the entrance. Your strong power enters your family, your house, your tribe. You start to gather, you tribe enough, you move through an entrance, you get that, <gasps> you get that breath, you get that look, but not it. I will cause breath to enter you and you shall live. You get that life. Mama say you find me, you find life. But what about the sticks, Khan? What about the towel? See, flat drop one on one is about hitting the towel. Because if you ain't keeping the cold, it don't matter if you're on a ball or flat. You're in captivity, man. It don't even matter. <laughs> but when you are keeping the cold, when you're a family, you're coming together, you're gathering, you're tribing up, you going through a doorway, an entrance, a portal, and you get that breath, and you get that security, and you get that nourishment. You take it all the way to the house, man. You take it all the way to the towel, the alpha and the omega, right? Two cross sticks have to come together. This ain't no Jesus cross. This is cross sticks marking a sign, not JC. They hijacked the sign. The original cross is simple, ancient, Shemitic Hebrew. Had nothing to do with Christianity or JC. It had to do with... Hitting the mark, making the mark, receiving the sign, the signal, the monument. <laughs> now they're looking for Preston John, right? Come. Ezekiel 37, 15, a word of a while came unto me saying, And thou, son of man, take thee one stick, all right, we got two cross sticks. Let's go. And write upon it for Judah and for the children of Israel, his companions. And then take another stick. That's two cross sticks. Write upon it for Joseph. So we got northern tribe, southern tribe, right? The stick of Ephraim. And of all the house of Israel, his companions, and join them for thee one to another and to one stick that it may become one in your hand, my love. Now you got the cross sticks, two sticks coming together. That is the towel. This is the purpose. And once you know the purpose, whew, ain't no stopping you. From, from hitting the mark, my nigga. You are the sign, man. You are the signal, man. You are the monument. You are the Tao, Ta. They say America was once called Ta Mary. Ta is the Tao, my nigga. And 
and join them together into one, to one another, into one stick, that it may become one in your hand. That's the whole purpose, man. One. That's it. Unity. <laughs> the family coming together. That's the whole purpose of the whole Bible. All the stories, all the Leviticus is to for you to raise your frequency and become one. That's it. Hit the easy button. Most of everything. Right. It's Exodus chapter 20. Right? Eight, verse 18. Let's go. Ezekiel 37 verse 18. And when the children of your people shall speak unto you, saying, Will thou not tell us what this means? <laughs> what you mean by these? Say unto them, Thus says a wow. Thus says our breath and our security, our secure breath. Behold, I will take the stick of Joseph, which is in the hand of Ephraim and the tribes of Israel, his companions, and I will put them unto him together with the stick of Judah and make them one stick. And they shall be one in my hand. Now, who gets to carry that scepter? Very simple, but why don't have no confusion on this? The scepter would never depart from Judah. Book of Genesis tells us this. So the scepter never departs from David. Is there going to be any confusion about who the shepherd is that carries this stick that is united? This scepter? Verse 20, and the sticks were on, thou writest shall be in thy hand before their eyes, and say unto them, Thus says a while, Behold, I will take the children of Israel from among the nations where they have gone and will gather, right? Gone. Gone is the third letter of the paleo, gather, right? I will gather them on every side and bring them into their own land, my naga. Again. First thing that happens when you keep the code. You get reestablished on this earth. You get your own land back. And I will make them one nation. That's the point, drop nation. That's the moral of the story. But who holds the scepter? And the land upon the mountains of Israel. And one king shall be king to them all. One king. Hawaii is not the author of confusion. If you got another king, another Khan, Another shepherd, another Mashiach, you're getting it from the hijack. You got it regurgitated to you, preached to you on Sundays. <laughs> you got hijacked. I'm talking to Israel. Now, if you're not Israel, you can have your own king because we're not talking. This ain't about you. You, you can get to the back of the class right now. I'm talking to Israel right now because let, let it be known, man, we do this for the tribe. I don't do it for all the people on earth. We do this for the tribe and those that see clearly of all the people on earth will choose up. But this ain't about you. Back, back, I'm talking to Israel. Hawaii's talking to Israel, so I'm talking to Israel. Who's your one king? They shall be no more two nations, neither shall they be divided into two kingdoms. Who's your one king? Neither shall they defile themselves any more with their idols, nor with their detestable things, nor with any of their transgressions. You keep the code, but I will save them. Who's your savior? Let's start there. Let's get it in order, right? Who's your savior? The creator is your savior. Isaiah 43, right? No gods before me. Most of everything. Exodus chapter 20. I will save them. Ezekiel 37, right? I will save them, Hawa says, out of their dwelling places wherein they have sinned and will cleanse them. You want to be clean? You tired of being dirty in hijacked city, man? You can't wash this filth off. You got to be cleansed by Hawa. So shall they be my people and i will be their power who's the one king that shall be king to them all 
Is there any confusion? Ezekiel 37, 24, my servant David shall be king over them. And they all shall have one shepherd, not two, not three, not four. If you're getting another one, you're outside the house of David. And don't be jealous later and say, how come you're excluding me from the house of David? Because this is the one shepherd and this is the one covenant because the covenant of Shalom of peace is with Dawi. And Dawi is forever. Forever, boss. <laughs> and they shall all walk in my ordinances, keep the code, observe my statutes, my naga, and do them. And they shall dwell in the land. Here we go. That I have given unto Jacob, my servant, wherein your fathers dwell, and they shall dwell therein. They and their children. Man, we do it for our children. Our heritage, my naga, our birthright, my naga, and their children's children, my naga, forever. David is come forever, my servant David, and David, my servant, shall be their prince forever. And I will make a covenant of Shalom with them. Again, we see it, just like Ezekiel 37. Um, I mean, excuse me, Ezekiel 34 said the same thing, covenant of peace, as it says in 37. David, my servant, shall be their con forever. Two cross sticks coming together for Joseph the stick of Ephraim. And join them with who? Judah. And make one stick. Now you got two cross sticks. And this is your tau, or as the Greeks say, omega, right? Alpha and omega. This is what they translated to the letter T in English, which is the tau. Two cross sticks. Look how they made it. Look how they hijacked it. And now the Christian cross is another hijacked version of your Tao. But their Tao ain't your Tao because their mark ain't our mark and their sign ain't our sign. Don't be wary of the signs in the sky, Manaka. They're for you, the Ibaru, and where? India. Superior. Right here in Anya. Right here in Asia. Wow. Wow. Just let it breathe, man. Let's put the Columbus story into a whole nother top of view. Columbus just found you, right? <laughs> what did they find what they was looking for? And what were they looking for? The Kumsay, <laughs> Big Tech. Is that a dragon on his chest, my nigga? Huh? So is it a coincidence? Is it a coincidence, my not? Do 
2023-2024 eclipse trajectories from form of 5, 12, 13, philosopher's stone, perfect triangle, proportion that tilts at 51, 85 degrees. You know, that adds up to one, you know. Five plus six is one. I mean, five. <laughs> Wait, is it five plus six? What's eleven? One plus one is two. Five plus one is six. <laughs> six plus eight is what? Fourteen. Fourteen breaks down to one plus four, which is five. And five plus five is ten, which is one. So we're talking about the one, right? <laughs> I can't make this stuff up. So don't even play me. I can't even make it. We're talking about the one, the Neo, set out Sophia Stewart. On the one dollar bill. <laughs> All right. The one is also the LF, right? So we understand the Tau, the two cross sticks, Ezekiel 37, right? What about the one, which is the strong power? It's the Aleph. Is this a coincidence that we're getting this formation? <laughs> and it also matches this Pythagoras, you know what I'm saying? Or Philosopher's Stone, just recon the Philosopher's Stone, connected with the drag and drop. Alchemy, a lot of secret drop, right? Sacred geometry. And at this particular slope, which equals one, you got the Aleph. And all we have to do is also not forget about this eclipse that happened last year. What? Three eclipses in seven years, my night. On the back of the dollar. Tau, a left, right? Beginning and end. See the different type of paths of totality, darkness. We gotta study these some more, right? Cutting right through Dallas. Shout out to my <laughs> Toe Texas Nuggets, man. Right through Toe Texas. Utopia, Mexico, whoa. And the other one cut through Vegas. Man, I, yeah, because we had, it was close to Cali, I remember they said. I remember that. So, how do we forget, man? Let's go. Current weather forecast for Alpha <laughs> current cloud cover. Visit our weather links. All right. You know, just give me some coordinates to dig on, man. It's just, is it play play? I guess is all we saying. Is it play play? What about them? Uh, didn't they say they're trying to shoot rockets at this thing now? Y'all hear about that? And someone left a comment. I'm going to get some great comments. They say these are like sound rockets because they're trying to shoot through the portal. Like they're saying there's going to be a portal open. And really, they're trying to shoot through this portal. They're trying to put something through it. You know, are they trying to put weapons? Are they trying to weaponize or hijack the opening? Right? The portal? <laughs> uh, shooting rockets at Eclipse, something like that. I mean, tell me I, I ain't making this up. 
firing three rockets, huh? <laughs> I, can't make, I can't make this stuff up. Say, drop you ain't crazy. Drop you ain't crazy. NASA plans to launch three rockets 260 miles above Earth. Come on, boss. Come on, boss. <laughs> really? 260 miles above the Earth? At the same time, the April 8th total solar eclipse raced across the planet. Come on, man. The rockets will carry equipment. Come on, man. I'm out of here, boss. This is, this is just Hijack City, man. This is Hijack City working at its finest, man. Don't NASA don't even exist anymore? What happened? Didn't they step down and say, we can't go back to the moon? SpaceX take, take over. Now NASA pop back up on the scene. They want to start launching rockets at the eclipse. Did they launch rockets at last year's eclipse? How about seven years ago? So why you want to launch missiles? They say rockets. We say missiles. <laughs> we say weapons that are equipped with equipment into the ionosphere or into the portal or vortex to study or to invade, to destroy, to vanquish the atmospheric disturbances or dragons triggered by the eclipse <laughs> that could interfere with their sign, with their frequency. With their Ra. Am I, am I missing something? Y'all let me know. I think we see in clarity. I think we got a dragon flit eye perspective. Drop what you say. I said NASA want to fire missiles that are equipped with equipment into the portal to hijack the atmosphere disturbances or dragons that are triggered by the eclipse because they're going through the portal. Are they firing missiles at these dragons as they're coming through the LF, right? Being sent from the strong power. To protect the children of Israel as they are reaching their towel, their sign, their mark. Because they don't want these dragons to interfere with their sign and their frequencies. Hijack City. They don't want us to interfere with their sign. They don't want us to interfere with their son. But we got our own town. Right? <laughs> yeah, boss. We got our own town. Tow, tow, wow. A left. Tau, tau, wow. A left. So, yeah, they're shooting uh, rockets. <laughs> Back to the disco. And again, get in here. My Nagas, you know what I mean? We are popping off. I was high popping off. All the cars, shout out to Yahuwah, Sadak, Nu, what they do. Shout out to Shadow781, she dropping that drop off TikTok. Oh, they dropped that drop. NASA will be shooting rocket seats. Hey, this is what I'm talking about, man. I just had an independent thought because <laughs> I've been hearing this, and it's right there in Discord, and this is probably where I heard it. Shout out to Shadow781. What's happening, Aqua? What's happening? <laughs> I can't make this stuff up. <sighs> they shooting missiles, boss. This sound like Operation Fistball all over again. I'm 
Come on, man. Let's see if I get this to play, man. Oh, we all gotta play, play. They don't want. They don't want us to get the drop. Let's go. Stop playing. Oh, maybe she just dropped. Oh, okay, my bad, my bad. She just dropped the. Let me see. Let's get it like this. Yeah, that was just the image. My bad. Let's go. For the dismount, then we're gonna get into some world beyond a pole for the dismount. Just having a good time in flat drop one on one. Hope you're enjoying the flow. My knock is so beautiful. Don't you agree? How, how my knock is reeling? Forgot to ask y'all early. How you reeling? I hope you really reeling, reeling up, choosing up, you know, vibing up, tribing up. We're gathering, we're flowing through a vortex, getting our. Get our breath, my nigga. Get our security back, man. I'm not on TikTok. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm not saying I'll never, ever be. I, so what you're about to see is me asking Alexa about the serpent man, deity uh, program man. that NASA has created. And they will be shooting three rockets at the eclipse uh -huh, uh -huh. on the day of the solar eclipse on April 8th. I didn't believe it. Someone sent that to me. I'm like, come on. They don't have a program called Serpent Deity. Well, <laughs> but it's called what? It's it's called what think? As soon as I ask Alexa, comment. Come on, man. Because what Alexa, the Can you tell me about NASA's new program called Serpent Deity? See, more information. I didn't know it was called Serpent Deity. I just said, what if they're shooting missiles through this vortex at these disturbances called dragons? <laughs> and uh damn the thing is called serpent deity man come on man oh this is crazy come on man stop hijacking man move man i'm not playing your games i'm not playing your games yeah i'm not saying i'll never be on tiktok but you know as long as nuggets you know want that drop wherever they at you know, we could be there. I, I feel like enough of our drop is already shared on TikTok, but you know, maybe they need some more drop. I don't know, man. But as long as it's pure water, man. <laughs> Serpent Deity, man. So they shooting rockets at a dragon. And they're calling this operation Serpent Deity. I'm out of here, boss. Say it with me. <laughs> Body back for the illusion. Deity? Dang. NASA has launched a new program called Serpent Deity as part of the Artemis program. The program, dubbed Viper, aims to develop technologies and techniques for sustainable lunar exploration. The initiative is focused on exploring the lunar... Dubbed Viper. So they're in the snake. Remember the alchemical serpent? First alchemical dragon. Blackdragon.com. Shout out Miss D. And the cop color awakening. There's a serpent... And there's a dragon. The serpent is the snake, which is why this is dubbed Operation Viper. Because they're into the snake flow, the Egyptian flow, the Ra flow, right? <laughs> We're into the creator. <laughs> We're into the seraphim, the high, highest order of dragons, angels, the seraphim, singing holy, holy in the throne room of Hawa in Isaiah chapter 6. Psalm 18, Hawa come down and save David personally with smoke out of his nostrils and fire out of his mouth. We on that dragon flow. Sodom and Gomorrah was destroyed by two dragons, not two men with wings or angels, man. Dragons destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah. Dragons brought down Atlantis. Just talk to the homie Levi. A Leviathan is what they call him. Did Leviathan destroy Atlantis? Serpent deity. Lunar South Pole, which is believed to contain water ice and other resources. Mm. Viper's objectives include conducting detailed surveys of the lunar surface and assessing the feasibility of extracting and using lunar resources. Oh, stop it. Alexa, is the serpent deity going to be doing anything during the eclipse? From wikipedia.org. In Kapong Pong and mythology, Lao is depicted as a bird-like dragon or serpent that mm. causes both solar and lunar eclipses. However, its features are closer to the demon Rahu, 
Also, I can tell mm. you the fun holiday of the day when I hear you. I'm out. Rahu, that's what I was trying to think of. It was like Rajas, Raju, Rahu. Rahu is what they also call the dark moon. This is what's causing, they say, the um, lunar eclipses or the um, the cycles, you know, the, the lunar cycles. You know, it's, it's, it's a dark body that is crossing in front of the moon that is not an illuminated body. You know, it's just a dark, um, you know, you can call it a, a disc, yada, yada. So I'm going to get that back, though. <laughs> I'm gonna get it back from the top, man. This is crazy. <laughs> Let's get it one more time. Hey, how aqua shadow for this? Gotta get in the Discord, man. Flat drop one on. So what you're about to see is me asking Alexa about the serpent deity program that NASA has created, and they will be shooting three rockets at the eclipse on the day of the solar eclipse on April 8th. I didn't believe it. Someone sent that to me. I'm like, come on, they don't have a program called Serpent Deity, <laughs> but they do. Please tell me what you think as soon as I ask Alexa. Comment. Because what Alexa, the f Can you tell me about NASA's new program called Serpent Deity? NASA has launched a new program called Serpent Deity as part of the Artemis program. The program, dubbed Viper, aims to develop technologies and techniques for sustainable lunar exploration. The initiative is focused on exploring the lunar south pole, which is believed to contain water ice and other resources. Viper's objectives. Lunar south pole. Oh, we're just talking about more, more worlds beyond the pole. Include conducting detailed surveys of the lunar surface and assessing the feasibility of extracting and using lunar resources. Alexa. Is the serpent deity going to be doing anything during the eclipse? From wikipedia.org. In Kapampongan mythology, Lao is depicted as a bird-like dragon or serpent that causes both solar and lunar eclipses. Okay, so the dragon is causing the eclipse. The dragon causes the eclipse. We're not talking about the serpent deity at NASA, right? The dragon in this mythology is causing the eclipse, right? <laughs> we're in the year of the dragon, are we not? We, we do got Tacoma's comet returning, and this is the Great American Solar Eclipse happening at the same damn time. Hey, drop, what does it say again? It says the rockets will carry, or the missiles will carry equipment into the ionosphere or the vortex to study or vanquish the atmospheric dragons triggered by the eclipse because the dragons cause the eclipse they call them disturbances they call us disturbances they call us savages they call us their satan their adversary they call us disturbances they are interfering Interference patterns in our frequency. <laughs> they are disturbances. And it has everything to do because it's triggered by the eclipse, my life. It's all happening right in your face, bone, man. You know Drop can't make this up. However, its features are closer to the demon Rahu. Also, I can tell The demon Rahu is dragon Rahu. They say demon. They call Leviathan a demon. Satan. <laughs> adversary, man. When you see demon, just think adversary. And if the hijack's calling it a demon or adversary, it must be the truth, man. Because they don't call uh, something good from us good. They call it demon. Demo <laughs> they don't call nothing righteous from us righteous they call it satanic terror you know, all this other stuff we got to worship their son to get to their father right <laughs> so they're calling rahu a demon it must be a dragon because remember they're calling to kum says comment devil's comment right let's go and tell you the fun holiday of the day when i hear your morning alarm would you like me to set up that routine no no i'm good i'm good thanks Alexa, what is NASA's serpent deity going to be doing on the eclipse on April 8th? 
In ancient Egyptian mythology, the serpent deity Sobek is sometimes depicted as pursuing the sun god Ra, and during certain instances nearly what? consumes the sun disk, resulting in The Serpent Deity Soviet? So the Soviet Union <laughs> has to do with their serpent devil? Soviet means serpent? Did y'all know? Is Serpent Deity going to be doing on the eclipse on April 8th? In ancient Egyptian mythology, the Serpent Deity... The Serpent Deity Soviet is sometimes depicted as pursuing the sun god Ra. Drop what what they say again? They say they're shooting missiles at our dragons that are triggering this eclipse or connected with it, right? That could interfere with their sign and their Ra frequency. Their Ra, their Tahuti, is Thoth the moving island, my naga? <laughs> Sun God Ra, right? Is Thoth, is the who is Ra, is Zeus, is Jesus, is Yahweh Who you're putting on our towel, you're putting on our cross, and he got no business as our mark, as our sign, or as our monument. Because we got our sign, and they got their own sign. They don't want these dragons to disturb their frequency, right? Their hijack 440 hertz. They got their sign. We got our sign. We got our town. We got our left, right? We got our Hawa breath, secure breath. We got our own food. We don't need hijack grocery stores. We got our own Zion, Zion. We got our own food. You know, Soviet, which hijacked the roost, the Russia flow, is their Ra. Wow. Or you know, huh? Sobek is sometimes depicted as pursuing the sun god Ra, and during certain instances nearly consumes the sun disk, resulting in an eclipse. The April 8, 2024 total solar eclipse will be a significant astronomical event that will be viewable from certain regions in North America, including Canada, Mexico, and parts of the United States. Alexa, is NASA going to be doing anything with the solar eclipse on April 8? Mm. From the MalaysianReserve.com. On April 8th, NASA will host live coverage of the eclipse on the agency's website and the NASA app beginning at 1 p.m. Alexa, will NASA be shooting rockets at the solar eclipse as part of this Serpent Deity program? Sorry, I don't have an answer for that. Alexa, what's the Serpent Deity program at NASA? Mm. Stuff. The Serpent God Deity Program is a NASA program that aims to study the asteroid named Sekhmet, which is associated with the Egyptian serpent deity of the same name. Mm. The program will utilize the spacecraft that collected samples from the asteroid Bennu to obtain better insights into the asteroid and its composition. Mm. <laughs> we out of here, boss. So what you're about to see is me asking Alexa about the serpent deity. Out of here, baby. Y'all get on. The Discord, man. Da -wa -da. This is uh, writing your face type stuff, man. Hey, Shalawa. Hey, after all the kind support, man. You know, I really appreciate all your love, man. All your hey, uh, You know what I mean? And it just keeps us going, keeps our channel flowing, allows us to build and, you know, build for Nagaville. You know what I'm saying? Continue to plan and do things. You know, just have motion, have movement, you know what I'm saying? Have the water flowing. So the wada. Yeah, get in the Discord, man. Get in <laughs> get that drop. It's always saying. Flat drop one on one is going all the way up. Ahab Aqua Shadow Seven Eight One. Just drop that Godfrey drop. Make sure y'all get that because it's right in your face, man. 
Hey, hi to all the cons, man. Look at that, man. Can, can they lose? <laughs> Type as I two tick rig. I see y'all, man. <sighs> okay, okay. Hey, hi, man. Like I said, all your uh, you know great support goes a long way, my nigga. You got all the links below. We're building. You know, you know we're building. Um, you know, we don't like to build too publicly. You know, we don't like to announce all our plans or you know all that, but. Just get in here, support all the platforms, make sure you got it, because we drop different things on different platforms at different times. We just got our our page back on <laughs> Facebook, the one we started with. It was like a year and a half battle, because they shut it down, and we finally got it back. So I'm back popping off on the Facebook, just you know, sharing some things, sharing some stuff. So if you're on the Facebook, hit a con, con drop, or you can hit our um, 4-3 to the drop, or the Drop Radio TDR page as well, man. And get in the classroom, man. Keep the lights on. Oh, yeah, we also got the Melanated True Earth playing. How can I forget that, man? It's Flat Drop 101, man. <laughs> uh, shout out to all the cons, man. The melanated True Earth playing. We don't call it uh, the Flat Earth. We say Melanated True Earth. Earth. I started this um, page phew, feels like a decade ago, man, with the con uh, Silas Nehemiah, man, great con, man, and, you know, just as a, a place for, you know, some cons researching the flat earth plane, <laughs> my melanated cons especially, man, to get in here and have some research and, you know, I mean, discuss things without being caught crazy, so it's good to see that. The tribe is still tribing up right here on this uh, immaculate page, man. And, you know, we're going to start sharing the drop right here. Flat Drop 101. Get in the melanated true earth plane. <laughs> uh, M-E-L-A-N-A-T-E-D. True earth plane on Facebook, man. And, you know, I'm just sharing the platforms. God knows a lot. So I'm just letting you know. You know we on the... You know we on the tube, right? You know we on the YouTube. You know we on the IG, but we also on the Discord, and we're also back on the Facebook flow as well. I'm sorry, my internet's internet, and you know the hijack, man. But you know where we at, man. <laughs> um, and then of course we got the uh, the drop radio flow on the Facebook, and then we got the Patreon flow, man, as well, man. So we're in a few, you know, a few different spots right now that you can catch the drop. And all of them are worth it, worthwhile, um, you know. As we build our flow, we build our team, man. It's continue to tribe up and gather as we're gathering. This is all going to increase. And all these platforms will be in one place. You know, we're going to have all this on the website. So you can still be interactive on 432thedrop.com and, you know, be able to surf the wave and all these beautiful platforms, you know, as long as... As long as they'll have us, <laughs> you know, we had to cut out on Facebook before, but as long as they'll have us, man, <laughs> we're going to keep dropping that drop, man. All right, man. I don't know what they got going on here. They glitching on us, man. There we go. Okay. Yeah, get in the, get in the spot, man. Get, <laughs> get the press to drop, man, 140. 134. Oof. Can you imagine when we on 144? Yeah, man. Get the drop, man. And Hawaii made the firmament, divided the waters which were under the firmament from the waters which were above it, man. So we're talking firmament. We're talking melanated true earth play. Get in the melanated true earth play. Treaty of 1959. Oh, I told you they had you know, discover more land that was tropical, right? Didn't we say that? Okay, this video don't got sound, but you can see it, right? So when they flying around in all this infinite ice, they find iceless places. 
This bunker has discovered a warm oasis. <laughs> this is when they start finding, you know, these warm pockets of water that lead to more warm ocean, warm pockets of water. And in our minds, we're just thinking this is just frozen tundra, you know, forever frozen. All right, man, I tried to get the full screen, but. I think it's my screen recorder too. Whenever I use it, it just slows down my net this time. So the water my cons for your patience. We almost out of here. You know, they always do this towards our dismount, man. But we got it. We got it. Look at this, you know, from this grainy image, but all this is forests and trees. Can you imagine that? <laughs> you way in Antarctica, but you in a whole forest. You're in a whole village, right? So you keep going and you find more forest and tropical vegetation and this is what F. Amadeo Giannini is proclaiming in Worlds Beyond the Pole that everything is connected there are no separate isolated globular bodies called planets you got more flat plane more plane <laughs> more connection the further you go and again, before we had explorers that were looking for all this, you know, on the surface, and now they had to go undercover with it. And now they call them astronauts instead of explorers. Now they say they go to outer space instead of extra space, more land, more water, because water is space. Uh, we got a lot of recaps dropping on the Patreon, including flat drop one on one recaps. So if you want that extra flat drop, if you want those recaps, my naga, it's only $3 a month. <laughs> Instead of buying that coffee or buying that, uh, you know, fruit cup, whatever you're eating, whatever you're doing, <laughs> you know, just support the con here because we're going to use this to really run it up, man, for our land, for Joy World. Um, this supports our channel, everything, man. So right now I think we got about three bills, man, 300 coming right off the Patreon, which we can now plan for and say, all right, cool, we can save this up. Five months from now, you know, we get 1500 we can, you know, plant a fence building this and do this, and or we can use this immediately and put it on paint for our fence right now. This helps us a lot. So, the water my cons, you know what I'm saying? Supporting the Patreon, yeah, you know, um, every day, every month. Some of y'all even come over here and pledge even more and do more than $3. So, that really helps us a lot, my naga. So, come over here, click the links below. And uh, get in the Patreon cons. We really appreciate that. You know, I know they loading, they loading. <laughs> but we got a lot of drop popping off, man. And, you know, really, it's like, you know, we're trying to get everything we can because we got a lot to do. You know, con is busy. And uh, all our cons are busy, tripping up. Again, we don't do all this. We don't tell you every little move we make because we really believe in moving in silence. <laughs> tell you the truth. If we announced everything we planning on doing, then that would be counterproductive. You know what I'm saying? I know we all heard of COINTEL Pro, right? So I'm just saying all this little bit adds up. And we're trying to run this up to 5000 a month, 10000 15000 Imagine what the cons could do if we knew we was having this coming in, five, ten thousand, fifteen thousand 15000 every month. Just imagine how we could plan and buy land, build land. Just imagine what we can do. So I know we got a lot of supporters and I know we got regular supporters, man, and um, consistent kind of supporting us. Managa, if you're not in the classroom yet, you know what I mean? We got um, 147 Nagas on the $3 a month. We got 436 Nagas on the free membership. You know, I, I urge my Nagas on the free membership to do the $3 membership. It's worth it. <laughs> the recaps are worth it. The drop is worth it. And it's worth the support. And, um, you know, this is what we've decided to do to help like we've done the GoFundMe's. Um, you know, whatever we could do, you know, we're just using what we could do. Naga's got jobs. Naga's got families. You know what I'm saying? We want to be able to drop this drop full time and build our radio station and, and be on our land with it. Like, that's our future. That's our, that's our vision, right? So if you believe 
Khan and, and with the cons is kicking and, and the tribe is, you know, who we are and what we're doing and my nag is worth three dollars a month. <laughs> and you know, over thirty thousand nagas on YouTube, we can get this type of support. You know what I'm saying? IG popping off, you know. Hey, a lot of my knocks is popping off on IG, and I want to also, you know, just say the water for all your support. Even if your support is just great comments and you're sharing the drop, we appreciate that. I'm just talking to my knockers that that got the three dollars to support the Patreon or support the PayPal or whatever you're doing. You know what I'm saying? Um, just have us in mind, man. You know what I'm saying? Just think of us every week, think of us every month instead of, like I said, buying that coffee or uh, that meal over there. Like, you know, just think about the cons, man, because every little bit adds up. If we got thousands of Nagas dropping that drop, then we can make Naga moves and include thousands of more Nagas to make Naga moves, man. So, you know, my IG Nagas, man, a hop to y'all. Y'all running it up over here. 125k so just imagine if a thousand of y'all knockers supported joy world you know what i'm saying supported the patreon supported the paypal and kept checking in support the cash app it or cash app my knock uh 432 the drop radio all this supports our land supports mhoe supports our channel supports our website we're building all this out of our pockets man so um, it takes longer but you know just like and I mean, a hop to the cons. We raised over 20k for Joy World. So now, guess what? We're in a position to make a few fence building trips and and build some more, you know, fence and you know, even more, even more, man. All this as they raise prices on all this stuff on us, cedar wood. Our whole fence is cedar wood, man. So of course they want to raise the price on cedar wood now. A hop contestant Taylor, Robert Gano, man. These are consistent cons that always show up. Uh, Adam uh, Cole Roos, I think he's the one that got us to the 20K mark. He, he dropped 420 on a knock. A hop. Zion Train, always, always consistent cons. So I ain't talking to my consistent cons. I'm talking to my cons in the back of the class. <laughs> it's thousands of you, and we need you. We've We've built. We need you. Continue to support our fence because we can still run it up and use this for other things, other supplies. Just please don't stop. You know what I'm saying? Don't give up on us. Don't, um, you know, get sidetracked and distracted. I know we're busy, but three dollars a month, I'm not getting, or five dollars here and there, or if you got a bag, if you got a big bag, my nigga, then hit us up four three two the drop at Gmail, and you know we'll orchestrate that privately. You know what I'm saying? But just continue to be consistent, cons. Continue to support the cons, man. And let's make our way out with this one right here, man. And again, the water to my code keeping nuggets, man. Because 500 code keeping families is enough support, my nugget, to change the whole world, man. <laughs> As we talk about worlds beyond the poles, man. Da -wa -da, man. Let's make this dismount flat drop. 101. This man, allow one of my favorite subjects, of course, but I love them all. I love speaking about the code. I love speaking on the press. That I love speaking about that 432 frequency drop, man. You know, I love talking about the indigenous truth, but we all gravitate to this flat drop because it brings us outside of the ball, right? It brings us uh, to another plane of existence, man. So let's pop in here for the dismount. Let's get it. If I'm a D O G N E N E, <laughs> physical continuity of the universe. <sighs> Belly flopping a long time, but I just love getting the intro. <laughs> I just love showing you the basics and leading you to the water and letting you surf the wave. We're talking about. 65 miles up. Now, they're saying they're shooting rockets 260 miles up. This is from 60 miles up. And when you look down, this is towards New Mexico and Mexico. It looks like outer space, right? But this is Earth. This is all Earth. <laughs> we look like constellations and all that from 65 miles up is what we say. 
So all this other land reflecting off the dome or the firmament looks like constellations to us. <laughs> but we're just talking more land beyond the pole. Like a baby with dragonfly perspective, repetition breaks the spell. The following pages contain the first and only description of the realistic universe of land, water, oxygen, and vegetation where human and other forms of animal life abound. This is not a work of fiction, nor is it a technical analysis of anything. It is a simple recital of fact which transcends the most elaborate fiction ever conceived. It is diametrically opposed to the assumptions and the mathematical conclusions of theorists and technicians throughout the ages. It is truth. These pages describe the physical land routes from the earth to every land area of the universe about us which is all land no outer space <laughs> it's just more land water <laughs> vegetation such routes extend from beyond the north pole and south pole so-called quote-unquote ends of the earth as decreed by the theory it will here be adequately shown that there are no northern or southern limits to the earth there are no limits. We're talking about an infinite plane. It will thereby be shown where movement straight ahead from the pole points, straight ahead from the pole points on the same level, not going up or down. Just go straight like these rockets do when they do rocket launches. They look like they're going straight, but they start curving and they end up just going. <laughs> they look like they're supposed to go up, but they start going straight, right, <laughs> on the same level as the Earth in low earth orbit, right, permits of movement into celestial land areas appearing up or out from the earth. An original treatise basic to this book was written and has been expounded at American universities, 1927. Every 1930s when Admiral Byrd found a new land in Antarctica, right? So the original treatise basic to this book was written and has been expounded at universities, American universities, at the same damn time as Admiral Byrd is discovering new land in Antarctica. So he's right in the thick of things. F I'm a D D G F I'm a D D N G and N E F I'm a D O G and N E. Since then, the U.S. naval research. Remember, Admiral Byrd is with the Navy. So since then, the U.S. Naval Research Bureau and the U.S. Navy's exploratory forces have conclusively confirmed the work's principal features. So this has been already concluded by the Navy at the same time as Admiral Burr. is discovering new land. I said new land, boss. I said new land, boss. U.S. Navy. I am hopeful that Antarctica in its symbolic robe of white <laughs> will shine forth as a continent of peace as nations working together there in the case. Which nations? Hijack City, you mean? Confederate C working together in the cause of science or hijack science. <laughs> Set an example of international cooperation. Stop it. New land was being discovered and explored during the Great Depression by the same man who went on live television and admitted to finding a large continent the size of America beyond the supposed South Pole extent of the Earth. I wonder how depression is doing over there, huh? <laughs> Black Drop 101. Worlds beyond the pole. 
1930, huh? U.S. Navy, huh? Since December 12, 1928, U.S. Navy polar expeditions have determined the existence of indeterminable land extent beyond both pole points out of bounds. Outside the barrier of the assumed isolated globe, Earth as postulated by the Copernican theory of 1543. Look at the Copernican theory, my naga, for the dismount. On January 13, 1956, as this book was being prepared, a U.S. Naval Air Unit penetrated to the extent of 2,300 miles beyond the barrier. The assumed South Pole end of the Earth, that flight was always over land and water and ice. Even in the book of Enoch, it talk about going to the ends of the Earth, right? For very substantial reasons, the memorable flight received negligible press notice. Nobody noticed it wasn't popular, right? No, they didn't want to tell you to drop, right? So the U.S., United States, and more than other 30 other nations prepared unprecedented polar expeditions for 1957 to 58. This is around the same time that they started the Antarctic Treaty, Recon Antarctic Treaty, where the most popular nations got together and said they're going to work together to guard the wall so you can't get out, boss. Now you can't leave, boss. This is their Columbus. This is the Columbus, you know what I mean, of Antarctica and the, and, and the world's beyond a barrier. This is their Columbus, <laughs> right? I mean, both of them are their Columbus, but this is the specific to going beyond the barrier. Now, Columbus went beyond one barrier. Admiral Byrd's going beyond the barrier. Wow. 2,300 miles beyond the assumed South Pole end of the Earth, that flight was always over land, water, and ice. We just saw a little piece of it where they found more tropical land, right? More vegetation, more water. For very substantial reasons, the memorable flight received negligible press notice the United States and more than 30 other nations prepared the unprecedented polar expeditions for 1957 to 58 to penetrate land now proved just like they penetrated America and found you copper color races found here called it a new world now they want to penetrate more Nagas more land now proved to extend without limit Beyond both pole points, my original disclosure of then unknown land beyond the poles in 1926 and 1928. So he already disclosed this before Admiral Burr. <laughs> before 1930, when Admiral Burr found a new land. So Admiral Burr is really piggybacking off of the discovery and all this of F. Amadio Giannini. The government, the Navy, is following this recon. So don't say there ain't no experimentation. We're showing you the science and the experimentation that was popping off in the 30s, 20s. Stratosphere, stratospheric balloons and experimentation trying to go higher, higher to the mesosphere. We showed you that picture earlier. They went about 65 miles up, so went higher. 1930, Commander Burr discovers America, discovers new world, discovers new land in Antarctica, boss, 1930. But in 1926, through 1928, 
F. Amadeo Giannini already published an original disclosure of then unknown land beyond the pole. But they also called America the unknown land, right? Just putting it together for you, right? The land unknown. In South America, they call that Arctic, where the savages and the devils be, which is just more nice, right? Brazil, where's the devils at, right? <laughs> oh, it's us? The Chinese sell upon this ocean. Oh, we just talking China. Gotcha. We just talking fire dragons. <laughs> gotcha. Land unknown. Yeah, we're talking about the unknown land beyond the pole. 1926 to 28 was captioned by the press as more daring than anything Jules Verne ever conceived. Today, 30 years later, the United States, Russia, Argentina, and other nations have bases on that realistic land extent, which is beyond the earth. It is not space, as theory dictated. It is land and water of the same order that comprise known earth territory. This work proves the first account of why it is unnecessary to attempt going up or shooting up or out. But they're launching rockets, boss, 260 miles above the earth, they say. I don't think so. <laughs> I think you'll be smashing into the firmament by night. Unless you're talking about Operation Fishbowl all over again. Shooting up or out is not necessary. It is unnecessary, but they're going to make it their necessity to attempt to shoot their rockets up or out from the terrestrial level for journey to any of the astronomically or astronomically yeah, named celestial land areas. So you don't got to go to Pluto and Mars by going up. You go straight to more worlds beyond the poles. It relates why such attempt will be futile. These pages present incontrovertible evidence. You want evidence, boss? That the same atmospheric density of this earth prevails throughout the entire universe. So you can go to Mars and have the same atmosphere as Earth, my nigga. You can go to Pluto or whatever other planes, not planets, but planes, and have the same dang atmosphere as Earth, man. Such a feature proves that, except for the presence of a gaseous sky envelope and underlying oxygen content equivalent to that of the Earth, we could never observe the luminous celestial areas designated as star or planet. Especially when planet just means plane, boss. Because they're shooting rockets 260 miles above the earth. Stop the cavalry. Do you see clearly? This is the year of the dragon. Do you see clearly? My Dracana, <laughs> do you see clearly? Do you have your light? Do you have your deadly glance at the hijack? The paralyzing sight that made you the fiery looking Ethiopian. I'm talking to my dragoon. Are you on a plane or a planet? Is the etymology of planet a ball? Wouldn't it be if that's what the meaning is? The etymology is the root meaning of these words. But at the root, the meaning is Pele, <laughs> flat to spread. Do we, do we see clearly? 
Now they got the T at the end, and it becomes a spinning ball. I think they're making it devious, boss. They're worshiping their gods, man. They're making it devious, boss. We're talking about planets, are we not? They are repelling and from the right path. When they name these things planets, it turns into dissuading from the right path. That means you off the path. You off the right path. You are bewildered. Do we see clearly that a planet is flat <laughs> and spread out, not no spinning ball, because a plane is flat? Do we see clearly that we're in India Superior Boss? And it keeps going, and it keeps going. Is this Terra Fuego? How can it be Fuego if it's ice? For the dismount. Best this amount of all time. Yeah. We could never observe the luminous celestial areas designated as star or planet. It is shown here that in a determination of realistic cosmic values, the observed luminous areas of the universe about us represent celestial sky areas. Celestial sky areas, which are more land, more water or vegetation <laughs> and that they are as continuous and connected as all areas it's all connected uh, of this earth's continuous and connected sky hence it is shown that there are no globular and isolated bodies <laughs> no spinning balls in the space that is a Lens deception, my not to be found throughout the whole world, whole universe. They are elements of lens deception. So these telescopes have these concave lenses, and our eyeball is a concave lens, and a concave lens hitting another concave lens gives you some magic, gives you some deception, some lens deception. Now you're seeing globular bodies that are an illusion illusory. Accordingly, the absence of celestial bodies precludes any possibility of bodies, quote, circling or ellipsing in space. The sun is not a ball. You only see one side of it. The moon is not a ball. You only see one side of it. These are discs. These are portals. I'll take any other answer than some spinning ball because the moon ain't spinning because you only see one side of it. It's the only luminary planet that's not spinning at all. It has no trajectory of spinning. Oh, no, the Earth spinning at a Wait, we're spinning at a 1,000 miles per hour, and we still only see one side of the moon? I think it's Hijack City. Enlightenment of the world. John Abazai. <laughs> Y'all remember all these drops in the library, man? <laughs> John Abazai always comes with some proofs, man. This is written in, I believe, the 1800s, man. This edition is published in 1914. Contains proof that the Earth is flat and stationary, my knocker. Got the drop, you got the drop. We got that water you know we got before this water section you know just letting you know that water always finds its stationary flat level surface john is out of boston massachusetts man all right Nineteen ten. This book, in my opinion, good proofs to show that the Earth is flat and always remains stationary, while the sun, moon, and stars are always in motion and always contain some testimonials on the subject. Woo. Best 
this amount of all time. So he was original. Well, he publishes originally in Persian. So John Abazide is a you know Persian fellow, right? The Indian is looking at. <laughs> They got an Indian, huh? So an Indian is looking at the proof of the parasol. He compares the sun with the parasol by saying that if the parasol were large enough, I could see it here above my head too. Also the same with the sun. If it were large enough, it could cover the earth. And the people, no matter where they were located, could see it at the same time above their head. Oh, man. Flat drop. What? Constant motion, God. Constant motion, man. We just surfing away. I wrote it first in Arabic, then translated it to English because nearly all Americans can read and write their own language. Okay, so it was written first in Arabic. Three chapters, man, about water, about land, about the moon and stars. We started with the water one. Here's your first proof. You know that there is more water on the earth than dry land. The water proves that the earth is flat, level, and stationary. Water is liquid. It runs always down and seeks its level and runs, never runs up unless by power. And the water of the oceans is every way pretty near joined together on the earth, and they call it liquid. It will not stay on a round ball. Take a glass of water, pour it on a round ball, and if it stays on, then the earth must be round. But if the water falls off, then the earth must be flat. I mean, simple, because they're saying you live on a ball. But gravity is a theory, not a law. Wow. Belly flopping, man. Belly flopping, man. They used to say about 500 years ago that the earth was flat and stationary and the sun was in motion, but they had no proofs like those I have in my book. This is the reason they changed their minds. But now you must wake up and judge the truth for yourselves. Pop off. Pop off, uh, John Abazai. Pop off, man. Read everything I say in this book and you will find it just right. There is no guesswork in my book as in the geographies. This sounds like F. I'm a deal, Gene He said, look, man, this is not the pen of fiction. <laughs> this is real spill. He's saying the same thing. There is no guesswork. You do not have to believe what I say in this book because you have eyes to see with. Hawa gave us our senses so we can sense if we're spinning at a thousand miles per hour, man. You can sense if you're on a damn ball or if everything levels out. If, you know, you can see what they call mirages. You can still see land across the Chicago Bridge. You can, you can still see because you have senses. These are not mirages. These are not illusions. Don't let these people play with your mind. Don't let them play with your, your brain bone, man. You have eyes to see. This is a year of the dragon. You see clearly. Bodies to feel with. Brains to think with. The geography says that the earth is turning, but no one has ever seen it turn. There ain't no live satellite satellite feed. It says as the world spins, as the earth turns. There should be a daily feed we can tap into on the internet called earthspinning.com. As the earth spins. <laughs> but you don't ever see it spin. Oh, because it's too massive. But you can go to Pluto. You can go to Mars. You can go to the moon. And not turn around with a decent vantage point. Just like they had in the Apollo missions of little ball earth. And see the little ball spinning with a video cameraman. At a thousand miles per hour. Because a thousand miles per hour is a thousand miles per hour. Cut. Huh? Don't, don't let them trick your brain, your mind bone saying... Earth's too big to notice the spin. A thousand miles, say it with me, a thousand miles per hour is a thousand miles per hour. How can you get from L.A. to New York if the Earth is spinning from east to west at a thousand miles per hour? 
I wait. <laughs> How you gonna go east? Top it out in a commercial airline, 200 miles per hour. How you gonna go against the 1,000 mile per hour span of the earth from east to west? And if you're going from New York to LA, shouldn't you get there in supersonic speed? Cause you're going with the span? No, the atmosphere, cause of gravity. Gravity is their God. Gravity is their God. It's the God of gravity and science. Cause you gotta believe in it. Cause there ain't no proof of it. Cause it's a theory, boss, and not a law. The geography, the hijack says the earth is turning, but no one has ever seen it turn or felt it. But they can see the earth flat and stationary. The geography also says that the sun is stationary, but no one has ever seen it standing or on anything at all. There is no use believing such foolish talk as we read in geographies. The geography has no good proofs. The hijack, the science, their schools, public education, has no good proofs. Gravity has no good proofs. The motion on the earth has no good proofs. They tried to abolish the ether to try to prove that there was no movement. When clearly there should be movement if you're going at a thousand miles per hour through the ether. So they said, let's abolish the ether. Let's take the ether away. Recon the Michelson Morley experiment. Love to Five Eyes Ma. It made Joey Ma, Ma Jigga. Research the Michelson Morley experiment where they tried to prove the ether uh, existed, they said, but then they proved uh, that, well, they tried to prove it did exist. <laughs> but they tried to prove the ether exists, but then they tried to use it and say, oh, it was a failure. No, the Earth's not spinning. So you're not going to measure movement through the ether if the Earth ain't moving. And that's the whole point of it. <laughs> Of the experiment. Recon the Michelson Morton experiment. Because we know we got ether. We know we got air. The geography has no good proofs. But only guesswork. Which amounts to nothing at all. There is no sense believing professors. Because they made a big mistake. By telling the people that the earth is round. And in motion. And the sun stationary. We do not blame them for this mistake. Because everyone. <laughs> makes mistakes. <laughs> this book is called the enlightenment of the world because it will wake everyone up and correct this mistake <laughs> allow uh, for the dismount <laughs> i love it man 1800s man 1900s they was going in f i'm a dog and needy talking about the lens deceptions This work is radically and rightfully opposed to the astronomical conclusions of all ages. It depends, excuse me, it depicts the illusions developing from all telescopic observations and photographs of the universe about us. It clearly explains and vividly illustrates why those lens develop illusions. Matrix, my daughter, telescopes, NASA, science. Public school globes, illusions have been mistakenly accepted as facts. The book is therefore unparalleled in the long history of man's attempt, attempted interpretation and recording of the universe about us. It projects man's first understanding of the factual and endless universe, which contains human life throughout. More Nagas beyond the barrier. Worlds beyond the poles. Its vast length and width, regardless of all abstract theory to the contrary. And on Patreon, we're going to start a reading from the top. It's going to be a straight up reading. <laughs> uh, starting at chapter one of this book. And I'm going to do this with other books. I'm going to do full readings right on Patreon for my knockers, man. Hang up to the con support and click the link below and get in the classroom. Get your butt in the classroom. <laughs> and let's pop off and let's build Nagaville. Let's build Joy World. Let's continue to buy land every year. Multiple, you know, pieces of land. Let's continue to build and support the cons that already got their land. Like, let's go, man. Let's go, cons. Support us in these ways so that we can build and get 
greater ways, man, greater waves. More to support, more to more to do, more to connect. We need to stay busy. That three dollar a month on Patreon or that, you know, dub you drop it on Joy World or all this helps, man. PayPal, all this helps. So support the con, man. Support the tribe. Support the Shabbata. Support the Khan Dynasty. Support your Nagas, man. Because we're discovering in real time man. ourselves, our habitat, our land that Hawa promised us. What the promised land is really about. I'm talking Tarazanta. The discovery of new worlds in matter as in mind is but the logical outcome of an infinite universe. Allow what? We out of here, baby. Book of Jubilees. <laughs> Chapter 2. What's this? Verse 4. He said, He created the firmament in the midst of the waters. And the waters were divided on that day. Half of them went up above, half of them went down below the firmament that was in the midst over the face of the whole earth. And this was the only work Hawa created on the second day. On the third day, he commanded the waters to pass from off the face of the whole earth into one place. And the dry land appeared. And the waters did so as he commanded them. And they retired from off the face of the earth into one place outside the firmament. And dry land appeared. Alawa. Hawa. Surfing the wave. And flat drop 101. What's the way up out of here, boss? <laughs> What's the best way up out of here? Do we need to begin up out of here or do we just need to see clear and let it all come to us? I'm feeling like it all is coming to us anyway. <laughs> stay put, stay grounded, stay foundational. Allow your strong power to rock with you and through you. Why not? Hit that a left, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and get leadership in your house and gather. Move through that door, that doll. Get that breath, get your security and eat. And then you can build a wall, right? <laughs> and you determine what's on the inside of your wall, what's on the outside of your wall. You determine what's in your basket, what's contained in it. And outside of it, right? This is our symbolic wall. <laughs> you know, if you're crossing this boundary, you know, and you ain't on the inside, you trespass, <laughs> right? God, we have permission <laughs> to guard our wall, to be guardians on our wall. We have all right. To protect our family, protect our tribe. Don't come to this wall without your invite, man. <laughs> and help us build our wall. And all praise the wall, you know, all the Nagas, all the real ones will be invited inside and contained. And not just this wall, but in Nagaville, in, in the wall of Hawa, right? In the land, in the birthright, and the heritage. Our creator has given us the land that is returning. The land that is returning. And with this land comes one shepherd forever. The stick that's in the hand of David. The one king. You shall be my people.
and I'll bring you on your own land. Allahuah, one shepherd forever. My servant David shall be king. And they shall have one shepherd. They shall walk in my ordinances, observe my statutes, and do them. They shall dwell in the land that I've given unto Jacob. Where your fathers dwell, they shall dwell there. They and their children and the children's children forever. And David, my servant shall be their prince forever. Oh, wow. Israel will return by now. And when you return, guess what, Manaka? You get your land, <laughs> your promised land. Your Kalei loose. Your Anya, your India Syria. Hosea 3. We out of here. speaks for itself when we see clearly it speaks for itself two cross sticks hey shout out to aqua ruth man we're talking about the righteous moabite who chose the creator don't try to tie yourself to ruth as moab to tie yourself to david she believed in hawaii she believed in the code. She wasn't going against a watch. She wasn't going with her own way and her own prophets and her own uh, judges and her own gods. She chose up and she was given Baruch. She chose to keep the code. So she's a righteous Moabite. And if you're Moab, you can be righteous too, man. <laughs> KTC, you know how we do. Put our power first. We never lose. Israel is returning. This is what this return of the Kumsay's comet is about. This is what this Aleph is about. This Tau is about. The two cross sticks are coming together. The mark, the sign, the covenant, the monument is happening. Crisscrossing over. India, Superior, Cateo, Quivera, Kiber, Eber, Eber, Tangu. What's it got to do with you? Well, see, you, you lost your land, right? We lost our land because of our harlotry, because we weren't keeping the statutes, the ordinances, <laughs> the commandments. And Hawaii knows that we ain't perfect, but we weren't supposed to trample the law. We weren't supposed to just completely just disregard it. Like, it's one thing to be caught slipping and out of cold, but it's one thing to, to fall and stumble. But you get your butt back up and you don't forget who you are. We fell into a spirit of stupor. We forgot who we are. But it's all good, cuz. Because <laughs> Israel is returning. In the latter days. In the year of the dragon. When there's a great American eclipse. Combs says dragon happening at the same time. Go yet love a woman, Hawaii said, beloved of her friend, and an adulteress, even as Hawaii loves the children of Israel, though they turn into other gods, and love baking and raising cakes to these hijacks. 
So I bought her to me for 15 pieces of silver and a homer of barley and a half homer of barley. And I said unto her, thou shalt sit solitary many days. That means nobody can help you. You in solitary. Thou shalt not play the harlot. This is what you, this is what happened. <laughs> we went after foreign gods on our land. Atlantean gods, Christian gods, all these religions, man. Because they don't care about the tribe. They don't care about the children of Israel no more. They care about Moab and them now, right? For the children of Israel shall sit solitary. Many days without a king. So Hawaii tells us in Ezekiel, you do got one king. Do I got to remind you? Jeremiah 30 says, David, whom I will raise up unto you in the end of days. Hosea 3 says, look, man, you're going to be solitary because of your harlotry. You're going to be without a con, without a prince, as we just got. David's prince forever, but you don't got David. You forgot. You got presidents and vice presidents. Forget your sacrifices. Forget your pillar. Forget your F5. Forget your teraphim. Forget your priestly garments. Afterwards shall the children of Israel return. Seek the creator. Keep the code first. You do this first. You KTC. Exodus 20 got us in code. Then you seek Dawi. Now we on Preston 133. Nope. Now we on 134 because we want some more. <laughs> we know it's a more and more war. And we shall come trembling unto Hawaii and his goodness in the end of days. That's the order, Managa. KTC, return and seek Hawaii. Seek the code. Keep the code. Meditate on being most high over everything first. Then you'll get your shepherd because the shepherd needs a righteous flock. And you don't have a righteous flock if you're not seeking Hawa. You don't have the strong power to go into your house if you're not seeking Hawa. You got to seek Hawa. Seek Dawi. <laughs> and be humble and be trembling. And return like two cross sticks in Ezekiel 37 back to the Creator in the end of days. We did it again, my night. <laughs> we did it again. Hey, out to my cons, man. We did it again. Is this the way out? And what's going on on April 8th? A lot of people speculating. It's a lot of coincidences happening, but what's really going on? And shout out to Robert Edward Grant for the drop, man. Like I told y'all, best dismount of all time. I said, I knew April 8th, Great American Eclipse is making in Tau, but I never knew it was making in the left. In Hebrew, this means strong power or leader. My naga at this point, just keep the code, Exodus 20, and get your popcorn. I can't make this stuff up, man. Allow a while. Year of the Dragon 2024. Great American Solar Eclipse 2024. Tacoma says Dragon Returning 2024. Shout out to the strong power. The Aleph is our sign. And you, my Naga, are being reminded that you have just been found right here where X marks the spot. Flat Drop 101, the water to my cons. Click the link below, get in that Patreon, because we got drop dropping, drop dropping off, man. <laughs> drop dropping all the way up, man. And uh, get in the Discord and make sure you support in all these ways, man. Joy World, you know, the water for the cons, supporting the, pay, the PayPal, the Cash App. And again, you can hit us on Cash App, 432 The Drop Radio on Cash App. And this helps us build because it's time to make Naga moves, con. So I got to implore my cons to support. You know what I'm saying? They say this is the land of China. But we know how these Chinese people support each other, man. You know, 
you know, I, I love the fact that we hit our mark, hit our twenty thousand um, dollar mark on Joy World. But honestly, my naga, we we could have and should have hit that way fast. And if we had hit that twenty thousand even earlier, we could have built more. You know, it, it's at a faster rate. Like just imagine. So imagine how they support each other, and just know that we got to give each other the most support, my naga, because this is the greatest train smoking. It's the greatest dragon smoking. You know what I'm saying? It's happening right in your face. It's been con <laughs> continuous, man. That this is a conclusive effort in the water drop nation for all your prayers and you know, dope dope recon. All that is amazing ways to support. So keep that going in every way you can. We appreciate y'all. Click the links below and keep surfing the wave. Stay up, suit up, choose up, drop nation. Wow.